Uh, no one is more about y'all When the fourth round, you need some Jack Daniel of love. <laughs> Amen. Anything at all. They want Army Field Manual. Really believe their theory of oh. human life was when the fourth round. Would... When the fourth round. Would... I uh, made you look. You a slave to a page in my rhyme book. Getting big money, playboy, your time's up. Society. Still, I maintain to stay sane. Stressing over shit they do, I can't change. Suffocating in the drama. These days, I only put the trust in my mama. Cause I know my mama got my back regardless. Whatever the outcome, whatever. Your mama got a grand side with the I'm a skeptic. I don't. Be, I believe in okay. Bigfoot before I believe in the shit that they I tell know. me. I'm serious. I know you do. Bigfoot yeah, is more. I think it should be religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt, and I claim that right. For limited you describe Over a price that will make you anti-theist, and you're an atheist. Explain. Okay. Well, an atheist. It is someone who doesn't believe that there is a God, or at least says that there's no evidence to believe that there is. But such a person might very well say he wished it was true. Um, in fact, I know some atheists who do say, well, I wish I could believe it, I just can't. There's not enough evidence for it. All the evidence is the other way. I see that. I say I'm an anti-theist because I think it would be rather awful if it was true. If there was a permanent uh, total, around the clock, uh, divine supervision, and invigilation of everything you did. Uh, you would never have a waking or sleeping moment where you weren't being watched and controlled and supervised by some celestial entity from the moment of conception till, well, not even till your death, because it's only after death that the real fun begins, isn't it? It would be like living in North Korea. To be an atheist, you have to believe that it is possible which I think is a far greater leap of faith. That's something that can be created out of nothing. When you when you look at the when majesty the and sophistication, a far leap of faith. That's something. Don't you call in the that, is, that to me is a leap of faith. You, you give me the awful impression that I hate to have to say it, of someone who hasn't read any of the arguments against your position ever. I've read all the arguments. I, mean, I don't see how you can be saying this when you look. You want to take, you want your God to take responsibility for the huge number of collapsing stars and imploding galaxies and destroyed universes and failed solar systems uh, that have left us in this tiny corner on one, on the one planet in this petty solar system that can support life some of the time on some of its surface. And you want to take, you want to, uh, you want a creator who's filled the, this earth with species since life began, 99% of which are now extinct already. And this is some design, isn't it? Well, but you've got it. Now do not operate heavy machinery and avoid sex with animals where possible. I believe the creator. Right, yeah, well, that's, uh, that's where it stops, or you think this creator cares about you too? No, in this concept that I, w I will concede this point, is that human beings I don't think fully comprehend. And now do not operate heavy machinery and avoid sex with animals where possible. All rights of the recorded work preserved except for samples which we have stolen and the finest keepers rule has been applied. Unauthorized copying, public performance, broadcasting, hiring, or rental of this record is likely, but ultimately killing independent music and consequently may decide to kill you in return. Some songs may cause excessive excitement, premature ejaculation, and herpes. If you possess, please consult your DJ. Make sure he traces on nuts. Nuts. Sample something that can come out of nothing because uh, fundamentally there has to be that starting point. Well, the game for a while, you know. Oh, oh, you're That's confirming no, your that belief system. That is what our minds, that is what our minds demand. We look for patterns. You seem to be angry with religion, angry with God. Oh, Am so. I wrong with my perception? N not with God, obviously, that would be absurd. But yes, I mean, my, my book expresses, I would rather say contempt um, and hostility to this uh, constant religious intimidation and clerical bullying to which we're being subjected. My book is part of the an attempt to arrange and organize a pushback against this, whether it's the the parties of God destroying Iraqi civil society, or uh, bigots in America trying to have pseudoscience taught in our schools, or a pope who says that AIDS may be bad, but uh, limbo, by the way, may have been a mistake, but let's talk about hell in any way. Uh, AIDS isn't as bad as condoms. We had enough of people who think, like you, that they know what God wants, and that they've got God on their side. Oh, I hope you're not <laughs> no, no, no. Never gonna beat somebody that loves
love Seinfeld and the Wu-Tang Clan. Yes, I, am, I am very, uh, I am very, um, there, there is hostility here, but I will tell you this, mm. you, you are right and I agree with that. Hey, baby. In the scope of spend your money, they don't give a fuck about a dead rapper, nigga. They'll chop it up. Who's our doom domestica tribe was cast into the dark pits of the stadium abyssly. With this is why I don't like religion. This idea that we are, in his words, sinful, evil, and have darkened hearts is, I guess, a good thing. That what did he say? Jesus came to die for us, and uh. What do you say? Shed his blood or whatever? Are yeah. you going to say that we're not evil, Ayana? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You're going yeah. to say, okay, I so, so uh, apparently you don't even read your newspaper or look at the news. <laughs> to, in, to to say that the majority, I mean, do you rape women because that's, that's condoned in the Bible? To, do you enslave others because that's condoned and encouraged in the Bible? Do you do all these things that the Bible insists? And encourages? No, you don't. Why? Because you would be in jail. As I stated before, we have laws that are in place to make sure that you actually don't follow the Bible to the T or any other religious text of, of a majority. Of now, I know as well as you do that you have not done that in order to avoid sparing the hurt feelings of my uh, fellow guests. You've done it because you're afraid of retaliation and of intimidation. Now, I, I'd like to ask him and anyone else who agrees with him who's watching, is that the relationship they want to have with the free press? Because if we have to use the stupid word offensive, those of us who believe in the Enlightenment and the Constitution and the First Amendment are very much offended by this mad, babyish conduct. But we don't go out and kidnap the nearest Muslim we can find and take him hostage till someone apologizes. Okay. We, don't, we don't violate diplomatic immunity. We don't, we don't, which is one of the most precious things in the international uh, community, much more precious than the right of Muslims not to have their feelings hurt. Oh, the whole well. thing is a scandal, and we're all running scared from it. Okay, let's let this Ahmed Yunus, uh, Ahmed, jump, jump in here. I know you want to respond. Yeah, absolutely. This is not about uh, hurt feelings. It's about strategic discourse. Uh, the people that we see on TV strategic are... Court. How the heck did he recover from that kick? That is incredible. That may have been an incredible kick out of I'm the best ever. Don't, don't, meaningful right. conversation well, don't instead of people talking on top don't of each other. On and tell me to uh, keep yeah. quiet. Don't well, Christopher, you know, why don't why don't you let other people talk for a second? You. Okay. You advise me. Okay. So anyway, to Matt. To uh, okay. Well, you know what, Christopher, I'll never make that mistake again. Fair Matt, right. here's here's the question. Liberty and the pursuit of happiness, but mostly just life. Yo, what's up? This is Africa from the jungle. You can either ask me on and have, ask my opinion, or you may not. But I don't have to be here if you're going to take that attitude. Well, you could leave. You spent the first half by saying I had no right to the opinion you asked me on to express. Now you're tiring me out. I repeat that. No, what I said is your opinion was thoughtless. What you wrote was crude and mean and hateful. That's yes, and what I said. You took up all the time for my answer with your long, rather unlettered question. Oh, okay. oh I'm oh. sorry. I thought this was the ladies. I'm sorry, I confused the symbol with my cloak. It looks like a dress from behind. I'll leave you to it. Let me Let just lay out what I believe is happening. His aggressive behavior. His increased detachment from reality. <laughs> Inability to cope with the force of 
forces in the world that he perceives to be the receivers, the forces in the world that he perceives to be the receivers, the evil Sandow. Are all thy conquests, glories, triumphs, spoils shrunk to this little m- Ah, we meal past. <laughs> with our hands, with our love, life, with our love, we ask justice, we ask freedom, and we take justice. Because the justice is not like a gift which they give, no. Liberty, freedom, they don't give that. We have to take that. And in fact, we go through the streets, and we took our liberty, we took our freedom, asking for justice. Who shot two pocket? We don't get them, they gon' get us all. I know not, gentlemen, what you intend. Let me ask you something. Uh, you do adult rap. You you do very serious stuff. Yes, indeed. Um, and because I never like to miss out a chance to congratulate someone on being humorous, if only unintentionally, for it's very touching for Tony to say that he recently went to a meeting that bridged a religious divide in Northern Ireland. Well, where does the religious divide come from? This is some spooky shit we got here. 400 years and more, 400 years and more in my own country of birth, of people killing each other's children, depending on what kind of Christian they were, and sending each other's children in rhetoric to hell, and remaking Northern Ireland the place the most remarkable in, in Northern Europe for unemployment, for ignorance, for poverty, and for, I would say, stupidity too. Um, and for them now to say, maybe we might consider reaching this uh, gap, well, I should bloody well think so. But, I don't see how. What, if they would listen to the atheist community in Northern Ireland, which is a real thing, and if they listen to the secular movement in Northern Ireland, which is a real thing, and I know so many people who suffer dreadfully from membership in it, not excluding being pulled out of a car by a man in a balaclava, and asked, are you Catholic or Protestant? He said, I'm Jewish atheist, actually. He said, what, what are you, a Protestant Jewish atheist or a Catholic? Huh? Sunrise, sunset. 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 <laughs> Note to self, stop doing anything. Bill, you're such a meanie. <laughs> Why do you have to go after religion? It gives people comfort. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, well, other than most wars, the Crusades, the Inquisition, 9-11, arranged marriages to minors, <laughs> blowing up girls' schools, the suppression of women and homosexuals, Fatwas, ethnic cleansing, <laughs> honor rape, human sacrifice, burning witches, suicide bombings, condoning slavery, and the systematic fucking of children. There's a few little things <laughs> that I... <laughs> Agenda and the Catholic Church has been following what has generally been considered a hard line approach under the uh, present uh, Pope. And, and now she's part of that agenda, and that is fairly political agenda. I mean, you know, uh, no abortion, uh, opposition to birth control, ideas like that are, are fairly, uh, you could say, they're, they're, they would be contested in the political arena. And the second factor is that she is also part, if you like, of the Western agenda, where the West is still part of the Third World. The rich world has a poor conscience. It wants, in fact it needs, to think that someone, somewhere, is doing something about the third world. And the Mother Teresa myth ministers to this desire. Here is a Western woman who has forsaken her life.
or whatever life she might have had in Albania, um, you know, for, for sacrifice herself for the people of the third world. It makes the West feel better, you know. This is, this is one of us again, once again, rescuing the third world. The official toxicity limit for humans. He's got his rations. Yes, yeah. he's got it, he's cleaning it. Mm -hmm. And then pay it up. In the subliminal appeal that she generates, there is something of the mission to the heathen, something of the old colonial outpost, and something of Florence Nightingale. While in the silent and abject demeanor of her patients, there is something of the deserving poor. The great white hope in this iconography takes on the big black hole. And the rewards are by no means all in heaven. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his own soul? For someone whose kingdom is not of this earth, Mother Teresa has an easy way with thrones, dominions and powers. Why do the rulers of this sinful and selfish world find her so awfully congenial? Is it because she returns the compliment? She may or may not comfort the afflicted, but she has certainly never been known to afflict the comfortable. Some people see her here, posing with Ron and Nancy. In a sense, citizens of the world, Mother Teresa is. The very hand that bestowed the Medal of Freedom on Mother Teresa armed and paid the death squads of Central America. Accepting. I want you to promise me something. I want you to promise me that we're never going to be like this. I don't want to wind up like that. <laughs> I've been practicing my whole life to live my life is to be responsible for what I do. I don't know how to be responsible for what every black male did. I don't know. I, yes, I am going to say. We're not staying here tonight. What do you say, fellas? Nice to the judge. Now, Mary, how's about shaking it around a little? Oh my goodness, look at her go! We like this court is we just tell exactly how it is, and people don't like us because we don't take a stand. We're not on the good side of violence, we're not on the bad side of violence. We're in the middle. So you look at it through, through our own eyes, and sometimes through gang members' eyes, and you know, through, through different people. And we take it in the first person, and you know, it's real and it's real crazy. But anybody with any kind of sense, without us telling them, that's not the thing to do. But look at that and say, I don't even want to get involved. <laughs> Sold over 30 million albums at you. Wow. My gosh. And how did you get that name, Snoop Dogg, anyway? Well, this calls for a joint. Was it the honors? No, man. This is grade A1. Too fucked up. I want to live my life taking the risk all the time that I don't know anything like enough yet, that I haven't understood enough, that I can't know enough, that I'm always hungrily operating on the, on the margins of, of a potentially great harvest of future knowledge and wisdom. I wouldn't have it any other way. And I'd urge you to look at those of you who tell you, those people who tell you at your age that you're dead till you believe as they do. What a terrible thing to be telling to children. And that you can only live. And that you can only live by accepting an absolute authority. Don't think of that as a gift. Think of it as a think of it as a poison chalice. Push it aside, however tempting it is. Take the risk of thinking for yourself. Much more happiness, truth, beauty, and wisdom will come to you that way. Thank you. Dress Asian, you look so metro. Pink glasses with the zipper jackets. Prince open booty pants matching asses. At the gay club giving out free passes. Back in the day, that's what we call faggots. Fast forward 2000, now that's fashion. 